Tonight at 6, a heartbreaking day for loved ones of those who died in the Parkland mass shooting. I never got to say goodbye before they did an autopsy. I will never get past that. That became among the top five hardest things that I've ever had to do. Old wounds reopened after their first visit to the crime scene, the 1200 building at Stoneman Douglas High School. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Jim Barry in for Lauren tonight. Today was the first day that survivors and loved ones of those who died were allowed inside the building since that tragedy occurred more than five years ago. CBS News Miami's Joe Murray spoke to families about reliving the heartache. It's another difficult step in grieving all that was lost five years ago when 17 lives were cut short in the mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. I'll never close out, Gina. She'll always be my firstborn, my only daughter. In a rare move, the Broward State Attorney's Office is giving victims' families a chance for a private visit to see where the massacre unfolded, collect belongings, and remember. I took away the most important was my memories of Scott's last day, actually of Scott's days where he was a teacher at Marjorie Stone Douglas High School. Linda Beagle Shulman's son, Scott, a geography teacher and cross-country coach, died while saving students on the third floor. She took his laptop, his lesson plan, sunglasses, and pictures on the wall. It's been 1,969 days, and I still can't say goodbye. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. After SRO officer Scott Peterson was acquitted of criminal charges for not confronting the shooter, Bagel Shulman and others say they are still waiting for justice. That man has no moral compass. And had he just diverted for 15 seconds, 15 seconds, Scott would have been able to close his door and I wouldn't be, have to be talking to you right now. Peterson's acquittal followed a jury's decision to give the mass shooter life in prison and spare him the death penalty. Tony Montalto says after tracing the path of the shooter, he wanted to see what former BSO deputy and SRO officer Scott Peterson saw. There were no slats on the windows, just safety glass, so you could see clearly through them had you taken that initiative. You could also see through the classroom, through the windows there, what was going on. So he may not be a criminal, but his actions were certainly cowardly. These private visits will go on for weeks as family members who choose to relive that shattering day return to the 1200 building, not knowing what they may see or feel. There's no closure, but this is something that I had to do, and I'm glad I did it, and I have no regrets. Eventually, this building's going to be returned to the school district, and they will arrange for any teacher who may want to go back in the building and retrieve belongings. Now, eventually, this building will be torn down, but there is no timeline at this point. Some of the families want a memorial built on the site. In Parkland, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.